Ladies and gents, Ben Kennedy here again. I'm making another video. This one's actually not a class assignment for school. I'm just kind of making content because I, I feel like I haven't really found my place yet on YouTube. This is my first video that's, like I said, not an assignment. It does have to do with SDI, so sorry for not being more original. But I figured in the recent years, uh, whenever I was starting a class, I was always curious of you know, what supplies I'd be getting for that class. So I know a lot of people, um, if, you're, if, you, if you haven't heard, SCI has the handgun specialist program, which is what I just started. I'm in week two now. If you're a prior graduate, you only have to take the three handgun classes. If you're not a prior graduate, or if the handgun course is the first thing you're taking, uh, you'll have to take FTT 101 or something like that. It's like fundamentals to firearms, I think. But in that class, you get some of the supplies that I just got again. I don't know if it's going to be the same for everybody that starts the handgun specialist class, but uh, this video is so I could show you what I got personally. And you know, maybe it'll change. I remember in the past, like when I first started with SDI, I was super excited about the, the capstone course for the degree program because they were sending out, um, at the time they were sending out aero precision build kits for the AR-10s and AR-15s. And then when I got mine as a DPMS, which isn't bad, it's still mil spec, but it's not aero. Totally cool though. The build came out awesome if you haven't seen. If you're unfamiliar with my capstone video, video from that degree program, uh, I did go with the AR-10 class and the build came out pretty freaking awesome. I kind of did like an escape from Tarkov replica type style build, I guess. Without further ado, uh, let's get to the point of this video. I'll show you what I got. So two boxes, unlike the degree program, you don't have to wait till the end to get a firearm. You get one right off the rip. Well, if you don't have to do FTT 101, or I think that's what it was, the fundamentals. But so this is the revolver course that I just started. You get a little 38 special. It's pretty sick. So this gun, obviously it's a, it's a full firearm. You have to go to your FFL to get it. I actually haven't done the assignment where you disassemble it and put it back together, but that's going to be my next video. So stay tuned for that. Moving on. Now this is the stuff you get to your doorstep. This is the smaller of the two boxes. It's like we got a mechanical trigger pull gauge from Lyman. That's kind of cool. Most people use the Wheeler one. I'm kind of excited to see how that one works. Uh, some cleaning patches. This is awesome because this cleaning kit that I got when I first started my degree program with SDI came with these patches. And these are honestly my favorite patches. It's kind of cool how you run them through the, the eyelet. Just watch, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably do a cleaning video sometime soon and show you how those work. 38 special dummies. I love these cleaning rods um, because they're actually on a bearing. They actually spin. So when you're cleaning out your barrel, it'll spin with the rifling of the barrel. and You don't have to turn your hand with it. You just go in and out and it'll spin on its own. I have a really long one that I bought for the AR-10. Uh, I think it's like a 48 inch. Got a little bit more of this stuff. You get this in the uh, in the degree program as well. I think you do, I think it's a metalworking class or something early on. It's like the first semester. This stuff is pretty cool. I haven't worked with this yet, but I'm Kind of excited to see what they teach us with that. Looks like we got some uh, some some sort of file sets. They look like they're made of polymer or maybe they're like uh, ceramic. I don't know. It's kind of cool. I guess that's why I'm taking the class. These look like aftermarket springs or replacement springs for the Taurus. Then you also have some uh, go no go gauges. We use these in the in the AR10 build class. If you watch those videos. All right, so this is the part that's kind of cool because a lot of this stuff I got when I first started, it's actually kind of a funny story. So when I started with the SDI, I got a little like care package like this. Um, I think this is the mat that came with it. And then I took a little hiatus. It took like a six, seven month break. And then I started up with SDI again and they sent me another care package with another shirt, another keychain, and another gun mat. I think it was this one. And then coming back again, we got another one. So that's kind of cool. This is gonna look familiar if you're a prior, prior student as well. The hammer, which I actually, my old one, the first one I got from school from SDI, I use at work. It's in my toolbox at work now. Another set of these, just like the first ones we got. I'm actually glad that I have these because I needed the other ones for work as well. And they're rusted. So I'm going to treat these ones, make sure they don't rust up. Another set of these flathead screwdrivers, which is really nice. And I have two sets of these. They sent a ball peen hammer this time. Nice metal one. 
just like uh, what you'd see in like a true crime documentary. Looks like we got some cleaning solvent. We got some gun oil as well. Got another set of these files. These come in really handy. Another file and rasp set. I used the crap out of these when I worked at the airport. And then of course, another gun cleaning kit, just like when we started with SDI. So if you go through the graduate program and the handgun specialist program, I guess you'll end up with two of these. So I'm actually really stoked about that because that's like a that's like a $160 cleaning kit. Here's my first one that I got back in like, I think it was 2021 when I started with SDI. I used the crap out of this. And I got two of a lot of stuff. Pretty sick. Let's clean this up. All right, so I highly recommend that you at least subscribe to the channel because uh, one day I might actually want to make use of this YouTube channel. I'm still learning the ropes, I guess. But I do want you guys to see the assignments I have come up with this because I've never owned a revolver. I've only shot one and it was like four or five shots. I think it was actually six whole cylinder. It was my buddies and it was the, actually the exact same revolver as this. But yeah, subscribe, stay tuned, like this video. Remind yourself to, uh, or I guess if you subscribe and like the video, YouTube will remind you for you to watch my upcoming videos. Oh, and if you're like uh, actually one of my followers that, you know, has been subscribed already and you kind of familiar with my past videos, this is my new shop. As you can see, I got finally got my old workbench out of storage from my early, early videos. So it's nice to have that back. No more apartment, office, hybrid, bedroom type crap. I uh, got a nice toolbox for extracurricular automotive activities and whatnot. Um, yeah, but it's a pretty big shop. I think it's a 20 foot ceiling. And then I keep, uh, this is a cabinet that I used to work out of also when I was finishing up my degree program. Got all my powder in there, all the flammables and has goes in here. Got some gunsmithing tools in here. I'm probably gonna make a separate roll away toolbox for gunsmithing stuff only. There's all the ammo. That's probably gonna get moved into the house pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, this is a new vice you'll be seeing a lot of. My wife got me this for Christmas, this most recent Christmas. Probably the one of the best gifts I've gotten ever. This thing's sick. It's a, it's a real avid vice, you should look it up. But yeah, so if you're interested in shipments like this and just you know getting start in gunsmithing or even drone technology, uh, hit up SDI, I'll put the link in the description for you. And then you can justify to your significant other on why you need to spend money on guns and stuff and really fancy vices, or maybe they could buy it for you. But yeah, subscribe, like the channel, like the, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and just stay tuned for future videos. And I'll try to get better at this for you guys. And as I always say, stay strapped, stay safe.